it, to be to honest, those are the things you need to know. Like, yeah, as a player, you need to know that stuff. It was like, oh, it doesn't kill to 214 as a throw. Good. Good. Yeah. At least you have a kill throw at that high. Because you never know when you might need it. Exactly. Like, especially in high tense situations and high, t high tense situations, you kind of just have to calm down, realize, okay, I'm at 200% because they're not going to mash out straight away. I'm gonna get this throw. It's gonna be the. It's gonna be a nice kill, and I'm gonna stop talking about it because we have Peach Daisy did it. That's right. It's now time for the queens, girls. You got late. <laughs> I was about to say lazy. You got, they're got sitting lazy. in lazy. They're sitting in lazy boys out there. They got Peach versus Daisy. Uh, I would say a tale of his oldest time, but that's kind of you know just the, the way things are of late. Uh, Blake, uh, blank returning, of course, the form. Uh, this is not an uncom uh, you know, uncommon place for, for Blank whatsoever uh, being here in Grand Finals. But an uncommon fact is uh, getting Ws on Link. Very difficult thing to do. However, that is 68, 118. Uh, and that's going to be the first stock going to Blank. Yeah, good stuff there. And we do see with that switch. It is. Or so, <laughs> oh one, of my, one of my favorite. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Rand said new brother just dropped. <laughs> Ew, what, 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 what brother's finals has gone away? Uh, Blitz Luigi has fallen, but we found a new uh, family member for, for Blank to uh, go beat on. And instead, it's actually Ling. He's playing the older brother category right now. As he has been, you know, hey, Ling has been a pioneer of Peach since, like, the Brawl days. Well, yeah, kind of. That was... He played DDD with the big back air put mostly back then. <laughs> Imagine DDD in ultimate with that back air. Okay, maybe he needs DDD maybe, with that ultimate yeah, back air because right now he just got back aired right off the stage. Granted, he does actually play DDD in the ditto sometimes when he like doesn't like it, and right. he usually wins. So, but I, I know mean, that man, man's first ball is built different. And you don't really see too many DDDs in Connecticut. Yeah. So matchup maybe. We have a couple. Like there's a, there's a couple that are hidden hidden around there, like the one at Gamers Guild. But um, and they're good. But one of the things, of course, is that Ling is prepping for Genesis. Uh, so right. I think he's going to be staying with Peach the entire time as we see him get the dub. Uh, and I, I, we have to constantly be on a high alert when it's a, a Peach versus Daisy match because yeah, RNG Jesus is busting one of them at some point. It depends <laughs> on who called him recently. Like, hey, how you doing? But, well, <laughs> They are the queens after all. Well, did you check in more than the scam calls? That's what matters the most. Because scam calls be making sure I'm doing just fine. Granted, they want nothing but money from me, but at least they're checking in how I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, kind of similar there. Playing a more team for normie turnups, as I'll call them. Oh, but he does get that high-pitched slap to the face. The whap! As he goes right over the top of his dome piece with the crown and says, my kingdom is better than yours as the first game. Blank, which is good to see, to be honest, because uh, I'm, I'm actually I, I've I've been watching Blank of late, and Blank was such a key of consistency for so long, but Blank has actually had some like some I don't even say crumbles. He's just like I had cracks in the armor, of him. and it's been against good players, and it's been against some solid players, right. but usually you would never see that. And to see Blank now making his climb back to the loses out of bracket uh, in a very good fashion at that. Uh, against, you know, Zeke, who had beat him last week. Live, who does very well against them in general. Um, Skink, who's been on fire of late. And also, Blitz, who's been beating him of late. He got through every one of them. Uh, so he, I'm, I'm loving to see the return to form here from Blink. Yeah, definitely a hellacious loser's run that Blink had to go through just to get into the final situation. Um, second place guarantee, but he's trying to go for first as that floor there, nearly, not nearly doing it, but... Close. Get it done for sure. That dare covers him at the ledge, which of course, which does of course set you up to that position where you basically have to go horizontal right at him, or you go underneath and hope. But if you go underneath and hope, most likely you're getting hit by Nair anyways. And uh, oh, we're oh, gonna call it an intentional. It's at least the kill. It's always intentional. Yes, and it's like it's intentional. Totally. I believe it actually. Like, like, look, I have been on the receiving end of many of Peach. Yeah, yeah, he wanted another one actually right there. That no, no cap. These that one. He is that looking was, for was, it. That was supposed to be a message sender. Like, which would have been huge too, because uh, that, that would have been a 40% knockout off of another footstool. Like a goodbye. <laughs> I, ho I hope you like your lead because it's mine now. Just like but, checks the nails like as they rise back up. Like, like I didn't even need to hit you. You were underneath me. 
you're beneath me. <laughs> you're beneath me because I'm a princess. Oh my Bow God. down. This is my state. Queen! But also, back here is coming through. All kicked up over on the left-hand side of the screen. <laughs> I said, I've been out of pocket today. But 134% uh, to 101. And uh, this is kind of ridiculous how these two constantly go back and forth because they have two very different play styles. Uh, it is very difficult to adjust to them back to back when you fight against them. As you see, uh, the back was facing the wrong way as Blake just slapped him right in the back of the head. And he keeps answering first, Nomad. He, oh, wait. Oh, oh, we are on high alert. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Back here is just going to do it anyway. And that's exactly what you needed. That's exactly what you wanted. That's exactly what you deserve. When you catch him with that snitch, throwing it down even, forces him to fade away. But Ling has him at 140, so this is a borrowed time stock. That's why if I'm blank, I'm doing exactly what he's doing. He's not going for any big combo starters. He's just going for quick, simple aerials and backing off. But that back actually just does it. That actually kind of surprised me that that killed. And uh, the blank jumping at the end there. You might be right. I, I think I, maybe not the most optimal like the eye or survivability. I think you're right on the fact that I think blank jumped in there because I wasn't looking at the track the whole time, but I swear I saw it burst up. A so bit, yeah. And now all of a sudden we're at a uh, slightly. Ever so slight. 15% means absolutely nothing to Peter Daisy. Peach or Daisy. I always make sure to specify because if I don't, I get yelled at. I've been dealing with this for years. They're not. They are two different characters. Daisy players got what they finally wanted. Yes. <laughs> Jason, all those, she is all there. Daisy I won't even lie. I'm actually upset that they took away the slight differences that they had, which technically made Daisy, I guess, slightly better. But like, the only thing that's different is this very, very unique situation her box shift with the way she stands. But before, there was like something different with the way that turnups got pulled or something like that. It was, it was Or it was like, like no, turnup knockback. I thought oh. that was cool. Echo Fighters should be slightly different because they're Echo Fighters. The biggest drop ball ever. <laughs> I would have paid so much money for Echo Fighters. Right now, I'm going to see Blink uh, potentially lose some of that money to Blink as Blink goes up two games and none. You see the head shake. He is he's like nodding the head back and forth. And this is with uh, somebody who, again, He's our number one, obviously, uh, has been our consistent number two, only behind that of Light himself. But for good reason, for so long, for so many years, Ling has been either the best or the second best, no matter what. And remember what I said oh, before, no. I preach and I tell the truth, I do not tell a lie. We have the king arriving, but it is not his noble costume. It is the king in purple, indeed. The king Deity has arrived here on the stage. And no big... No big goofy foot coming out for it. This DDD, we have this battle between kings and teams. I'll tell you right now, that bear would have been OD in this matchup if that was the thing. Uh, the, the brawl back air, oh, that would have been so good in this game. But the hammer still gets the job done too because there's, there's something that DDD does do as an illusionary tactic that's pretty well. Is that he has a really good anti-float game. He gets combo to oblivion, but he lives forever. But if you try to challenge DDD too much on spacing, with Gordos and everything else, you get smacked up in the air as he already is racking up a pretty solid amount of damage. Kind of was eating, uh, eating some combos at the beginning of this game. Bring it back. And oh, fair into Gordo. That's just some cool stuff. And that was actually, that was really good. Yeah, that just shows you how much experience Blank has fighting against DD. Yeah, because uh, I died there. Yeah, there, there's, uh, there's, there's more history to this than people might realize too. Like back when we used to run these out of the house, we had uh, Towers Takeover. This, this would occur more often than not. Really? Yeah, the, the Ling would almost always feel like use the DDD uh, in this. But then afterwards, he was like, nah, I'll switch. And, uh, but the back air just come through, he gets him the first stock. However, that doesn't really matter too much because it's 135%, so that is not that much of a difference uh, between the two of them to be able to get the job done. Not too much of a difference, and that Gordo is going to do it off the top. And this is a very even, very even match so far. Uh, maybe this is the answer that Link never knew he needed. Well, I guess he didn't need it. Yeah, only 64% to a 15. So again, it's like, but for DDD, it's like, sure. Because <laughs> uh, the, the thing with playing big characters is that Okay, no. most of the time as big characters, you just be dead to that, but you actually have recovery. But um, you're always gonna take that 70%. Like, it's always gonna happen. It's just it's just always gonna happen, no matter what. Right. But how do you operate after that is the crucial part. Not just straight up forward and forward smash. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll pretend that he believed really hard in something and that might have worked, 
but sometimes yeah, sometimes you just make a mistake. And uh, Blake, looking to start off the season with a potential W here against Lin. That might be an, a hard ass, though, as he goes all the way out there with that Gordo. Yeah, he's going to have to get through this King D and I know Link, Link is facing that. I don't... I, I, li I like I like playing. I think I think there's something poking. Because mm -hmm. Ling kind of went through that whole side. Kind of not getting cut too much. I will here. say too, he's yeah. getting Ling is starting to get more the man drops. When you're still win the key factor to knowing that a DDD is doing well is not how many straight hits he's getting. How often is he getting command grabs? Because that means that you've conditioned your opponent to fear shield. And if you're getting them to be in shield too often, that means you're going to get that free damage. And if they start panicking because of command grab, what does that mean? They're jumping and they're taking a lot of straight areas. It's all conditioning tool that's hard to do, but if you can do it, that's great. Blake does get the damage, but you mentioned it before, Nomad. Not only did he not get hit for a while, but he put on 125%, and that was one of the most atrocious DIs on fair I've ever seen. I'm not going to lie. He DI'd that yeah. up there so well earlier, and then he just went yeah, <laughs> right he, off the he, side. He wanted to die on that one, but maybe he just wanted a mental reset. We're going to chalk it up to mm -hmm. that as we're going to go into game four. Now, I'm curious. Now, here's the thing, right? This is where I actually am not the biggest fan of the way the rule sets work. He's going to stay. He's not going to switch. But one of my things that I'm not a huge fan of in Smash is the fact that we don't get locked into the character we want on. I think you should be locked into the character you want on because that's the way traditional fighting games have always worked. And if Ling decided to, he could have possibly switched to Peach in anticipation of countering the Pyre in mid -game. Because if I'm Blink, I look at DDD and go, huh. I could probably smack that up with Mithra. Uh, not that Ling hasn't beaten it before, but it's significantly more difficult than the Daisy, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's gotta be right. Um, I guess I, that is a very good point. Like, I guess character selections are very, it, it's very, it's a very gray area that hasn't really yeah, been advanced I yet. Think, I think Smash too heavily rewards with And when I, you as, the, you, 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 uh, as you, you see Blank fall there, uh, you as the winning player are, yes, supposed to be rewarded for winning by being up in the set, but Blank oh. is going to reward you for being big as he takes <laughs> him all the way off the top. That hurts. Do you see what happened? He ain't going to be able to sit right for a week. Someone you see what happened from the win? Someone called the doctor. Maybe didn't even buy him dinner or nothing. That's crazy. But right now we got two stocks of peace. Um, the, uh, but yeah, basically, long story short, I think that the person who loses is supposed to be rewarded a counter pick option. That's the point of it. Counter pick. You lost, therefore you are in advantage going into the next game as an attempt to try and come back. That's why being locked into a character has always worked in fighting games, and that's why it should be a thing in Smash. Not really, not really consistency, I guess. Yeah, definitely like allowing uh, people who have lost the match to come back. Oh, I, 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 thought, I thought it was going to die cross pick. Oh, that would have been, that would have sucked. I would have even, not even just unfortunate, that would have sucked if Link didn't end up getting the cancel off at the right time. I think we're close enough to up throw might kill too. Uh, 180, yeah, yeah, up throw should kill right around, but it doesn't matter, Gordo gets the job done. And this is what I was saying before, anybody who's watching this video afterwards and going, oh man, DDD on the thumbnail. Yeah, well, like, this is why. Link isn't, it's not a throw. Link oh, does no, play never. this character very well in this matchup specifically, and does actually use it against Shulk's because Shulk is questionably uh, like art. Well, actually, it's Game and Watch and then Shulk are like the most difficult matches for Peach. Right. And he's been beating them with DDD. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. And then man's got confidence in his character, so you're absolutely right. This is never a throw, man. It's like you yeah. should never think he's throwing anything. I remember he had a Kirby case for uh, he used to play Kirby a while back in four and some such. Uh, it was uh, Kirby is like that weird, like kind of works against Fox, but doesn't really. The third uh, brother. Yeah, like it, it'll work against your average Fox. It will not work against Light. Uh, it would work on occasion. Though. It did occasionally steal some games. Uh, but um, I, I like this two piece that he has because I think DDD is incredibly underrated. Uh, uh, however, obviously with the the core of characters that are at the top. They do shut it down a ton, as we're seeing, like, with this 156 to 77%, you get the job done. And it's, he's kind of making blank second guess his approach. Granted, that back air did cover him as he came back in, and we are on, once again, what could be a reset. Great option coverage there for Blink. And yeah, reset is Evan and Blink. Blink is still looking at a pretty 
pretty good kill confirmed, right? Like you said, maybe we'll see more command grabs to kind of dissuade the shield, because shield's kind of being a low one. Well, 85% has been racked up, takes a whole slap to the face. Just a little bit, but that, oh my god, up tilt is so strong. I didn't realize how strong it was. It's, it, it, it's like, I can't remember when they buffed it, but it was such a necessary buff because basically before you could just pressure DDD on shield and really not worry that much. Because that most of you are going to take a short hop there on a shield, get separated, reset neutral, but you're playing neutral with DDD. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder what he's going to do. Uh, he's going to Gordo or he's going to fair. But like the thing is, is that the good DDDs know how to mix it up, which to be, which is not easy to do at higher levels, being that consistent with DDD. Uh, but ever since that up tilt, got to the point where it is in terms of strength as an anti-air. Yeah. It operates almost the same way as Mario up smash. It just, it's just slightly slower. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much it. Is it, is it about the same strength? Uh, yeah, it's a very similar strength. Uh, so uh, I don't remember if it's got the reverse hit up tilt range. Dragon Beast is in the chat, so he can actually answer that. Uh, but I, it's been a while since I looked at that up tilt hitbox. I do know, however, though, it's got a good arc to it, and it's an incredible anti-air specifically against a certain mix-up tool that Daisy players like to do. Down around shield. Get the parry on the last one, it beats it every time. Also, does Ling have, like, the power up right now because we've got the thing. Ooh, we ever talk about it? Wait, did he select that music? No, this is completely random. Game five, we nice. game five, we managed to get Dreamland. So, uh, right, uh, right now, uh, claps are going up as we hear a couple bubbles going off, and Blink doing his best to try and minimize his damage. But as we all know, this is where DDD gets the job done. The ledge Not as he gets that where, down tilt. This is where Link gets it done. This is vintage Link. Like, I got, that could have been Peach. He could have gotten that stock easily, I think. He's very good with keep playing people off the ledge. And Ooh. It shows. Oh! Ooh, remember, that's got some armor to it. This is, like, just the matchup familiarity that Ling has in playing against him. It, 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 it just, it's crazy. And also, you were just saying it, and I completely was overlooking. This is game five. And now we're at what could be the end of the tournament. This oh, is yeah. Link's tournament life right now. Potentially about to get reverse 3 0 by Ling's King DDD. I mean, I think we all would have gotten reverse 3 0 by Ling's by Link's DDD. That's the majority of us. I mean, look, this DDD has a set against Light at some point in the, his, in the history of his like lifespan. So, like, that just goes to show you how good it is. Uh, but the fact that he has such a good ratio of W's against Peaches. Oh, that's bad. He got his double jump rip. Oh, he's. So, I will take that up air any day compared to that back air that he would have had normally had to take if Link didn't screw that up. Link back on stage. I, I, what, is, what does Link have to do here? Like, because uh, Link he, is not being on I'll the I'll tell you exactly what he needs to do and what Link is, is not letting him do. He needs to get a big combo starter. He needs Link to be on the ground and find a down tilt or something. You see how Ling is platform camping to make sure that doesn't happen? That minimizes what Daisy gets. You're at most going to get two hits or maybe one solid one. And instead, Ling said, absolutely not. I'm going to keep playing on the platforms. You want to hit me once, that's fine. But it, otherwise, I'm going to play up here. I'm never going to let you get that big combo. Like, ever. Wow. And now look at that. Now, and see, he made one mistake and he took two hits for it. But he... Switched it up to go grounded to try and see if Blank would double jump at the platforms again to get more punishes. But since he's been playing grounded, look at how much more damage Ling has been taking. Yeah, I guess the uh, adjustment oh, oh, no. not really oh, working. And oh, over there once again covering the dodge okay. in, man. He's been covering that roll in so much. Blank is having a very difficult time here at the ledge. That setup is so good because even if you block it, you get shield poked by the Gordo afterwards. So you don't actually ever lose that interaction. You keep it stuck to your favor. But uh, 71%. Ling is staring down a stitch face, though, but he gets sent back in towards the stage. Yeah, super unfortunate there. Oh, man. Like, when plot armor is on your side. Like, <laughs> like yeah, when you said, oh, wait, he's the number one to say, oh, we got him. We got him. That protagonist privilege right there, but he just stood still waiting for him to try and jump over him, end him with the up tilt. Uh, he's got a little bit more time he's got to work with first, see if he can finish it. Three minutes left on the clock. 
no, there's no chance of a timeout here. Can close this out? He's getting pushed. First time we saw a total all sets, but that Gordo is gonna do it. And Blitz, <laughs> Blitz is so disappointed. <laughs> to look up Blitz's face. Look, see, here's the thing. I told y'all before. I'll say it again. That we're no longer the Ghost of Ajax. So I can actually finally join y'all for a second over here. I don't lie to you, okay? <laughs> I only I speak the truth because I try to tell you. I try to build up the story. One of y'all got really excited and hit this table and like completely changed my angles. It's like, why is it, it tilted? It, it could have been one of us. You're like in the wall. No, I know. You don't no, need to be in the wall. You can move over. I promise you. Like when I said I locked y'all into the build, like the back room here, I didn't actually mean it. Oh no, this is my corner. This is where I sleep. All right, yeah. I, JT wasn't supposed to tell you that, um, <laughs> but um, you know, again, the Ling's Ling's DDD is there for a reason. Um, and, and as Hindsight is saying in the chat, it's something we've discussed personally before too. It is like that thing is specifically meant to counter two things: opposing Daisy slash uh, you know the Paisy players, Peach and Daisy. Or Shulk for some reason. I don't know why Shulk. That doesn't but make sense. It really. also I don't, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Maybe we can it, later, it really but. doesn't. I, I don't get it. Like I think the <laughs> only reason why is because um, I think DDD actually lives a long time against Air Slashes off stage, and he can actually okay. recover high enough around it. That's it. Mm. Because Air Slash and Fair are ninety percent of the reason why Peach gets destroyed by Shulk. Uh, oh, because you float and you just can't do anything. You can't. That. You can't live. You can't recover. You just get smacked every time you try to get back oh. on stage. It's a it's an atrocious matchup. If uh, any if any of y'all have ever played Detroit, uh, oh my god, I can literally Detroit. can't say it. <laughs> Detroit, the, the Detroit <laughs> Paisies. <laughs> if you ever played Peach or Daisy against Shulk, you will understand. Um, and uh, but yeah, still Ling taking it home here. Vortex Legends number thirty three. Uh, after struggling a little bit with the uh, with the the match against Blitz earlier, and then the match yeah. against Blank a second ago in the Ditto, which he never struggles with. He um, never does, and it's back to back game fives that he had to do. Yep. He had to clutch out game fives against uh, the Blitz against the Blitz. And, and, the blitz. and then clutch it out against his own character, but he gets it done. Yes, yes. And once again, still, uh, that, shout out to Blank's run as well, because Blank has been in inconsistent is like, a, a, I think, a tough word to say. I don't think it's correct. Right. But like he's for what Blank is capable of. It hasn't been as consistent as I'm used to seeing in terms of dominance. But you got a lot of revenge matches today against people who have been kind of you know beating him of late so that's really good to see uh that blank starting to return to form of it and this is all a precursor for genesis for some the arcadian on sunday which has oh my God, it's got 70 people in 70, total it breaks 70 yeah so it's six it's, so it's we're i think we're at 64 actual competitors and ones which it caps is at 64 um there are a couple of names that actually have to go in and take out so that there will be a spot open at some point um and uh you haven't signed up yet Pay Keep an eye out for it because I do have to remove a couple names that are not able to be playing anymore. And um, also, uh, there was, there's going to be doubles too on Sunday. And then Legacy 2, which, by the way, uh, oh, well, wrong ad. I thought I had the timing for it. Uh, <laughs> this is, of course, every single Tuesday here at, uh, at uh, Vortex Legends. And, of course, every Wednesday, which if you're into multiverses, we just had an incredible monthly uh, event which had a $500 pop bonus uh, last Saturday called Armageddon. It went phenomenally. You were so excited for I, that. It I, was, I was so happy. But also, $150 pop bonus to smash ultimate uh for legacy though in for ones uh next saturday do not miss out on that gonna be putting 150 dollars towards that and of course like i said before Vol vortex heroes 100 dollars pop bonus coming to you but also 50 dollars to the best coach remember all coaches are allowed to coach two people that is a difference that we made over the past couple days if you are a coach you are allowed to coach two players however if you want to coach you must be in the building you can't call in. You can't phone a friend. Okay, I don't want any of that. You gotta, you gotta be here. You want the money? You gotta get it from me in my hands. If you don't, if you're not here, I'm keeping the money. It's all cash. I don't care if you won. No it's my no. money now. All right. <laughs> but uh, that's gonna be it for us here tonight. Thank you so much for everybody who tuned in. Of course, I always appreciate y'all. Uh, thank you for sticking on the whole time. No, yeah, you and Rachel had really good chemistry, honestly, earlier. I thought that was yeah. great. And for I think the second time I think I've ever heard you up here, you did really good. So honestly, it was my first. <laughs> is this the first time you ever been up here? Yeah. No, well, well, I mean, and I think in like this building, I think it's my first time here. here. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. for I will, I will be the first to say. Hopefully, it's not your last time over here. I yeah. think you did great today. So, uh, thank you all. 
Y'all have a beautiful rest of your night. You already uh, know. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe, and check out everything that is VG Bootcamp as well. Uh, we always appreciate them and everything they've done for us in the community uh, for just putting on an incredible show and all the events that they do and letting us have the opportunity to stream this not only every single week on BGBC2, but to put these matches of VG Bootcamp so people can get the best opportunities to get their names out there and all that good stuff. But for now, again, one more time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let's say goodbye. Okay, you have a good night. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>